And one Howard City teen is proving that no matter your age or your gender, there's a place for everyone in racing. Take a look. I get a bunch of fans that are like, you drive this, you can't even drive on the road yet. She might not be legally able to drive on the highway, but she's holding her own in the limited late model races at Berlin. 15-year-old Riley Davis has always been in the driver's seat. And when she was about two and a half, I bought a little two-seat go-kart when we lived in Jenison. And she would actually, I'd work the gas pedal, and she'd drive me all around the neighborhood <laughs> at about two and a half. So that's where kind of the bug probably started. From go-karts to quarter midgets, Riley has driven them all. My dad used to race out here and then kind of got me into it. I grew up here just watching the races, so I kind of got into it with quarter midgets. And then hopped into this this year. With it being her first year in the big car, there's been some fair share of learning curves. Riley is the youngest and only girl to compete in any division at Berlin on a regular basis. Everyone's really good to me and it's more just fun to drive and like more adrenaline rush and just going out there and having fun and trying to make more improvement every weekend. It's just kind of intimidating, but I feel like it'd be more intimidating for them to get beat by me like when I get up there. But a lot of the drivers that she's racing against, I've raced against before, and we've, we're pretty much all friends, and she's starting to gain their respect. She's running a nice clean line, and she doesn't bounce off anybody or so and they respect her too. The Davises have always been a tight-knit bunch, but a few years ago, Chad was diagnosed with an aggressive form of leukemia. Quality time spent with his family, especially at the track, just means more. It means a lot, just with everything that's going on. I try and, it, it's a priority, but Riley's racing is also a priority, so I try and make the balance and even it out and just try and keep some normalcy in our life. Riley has three top 10 finishes in her seven races this season and hopes to continue to improve. Having a course like Berlin in her backyard gives her access to high-level competition every time she races, which she hopes will get her to NASCAR one day. I've heard it from a bunch of drivers that this is one of the hardest tracks to drive and just being able to learn on this track I feel like gives and will give me an advantage in the future. It's always been a dream to make it to NASCAR. And